praise the Lord. Can we please rise for as we say the first hymn of Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah.
principalities, no powers, no things present, no things to come, no death, nor any other creatures shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Church of God here at VLBC and Church Universal. We thank you because your grace has been sufficient for us and you have kept us this far. We ask, oh God, as this service, this moment is about to proceed, we ask that you yourself will preside over this meeting. We ask that your grace will help us Amen. strengthen our weak hearts. Amen. And men are broken hearts. We ask, O God, that nothing will be done according to the flesh, but all shall be done according to your spirit. Amen. But we ask, O God, that the, the enemy will not have any headway even today. Amen. We ask, O God, that whatever will come out of our mouth will be ordered by the Holy Spirit. Amen. We ask, O God, that she will touch the families on the right and the left, and you will comfort them on every side. We thank you, Lord. We bless you and we give you glory because we know that you have answered this prayer. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
while I wait for the media to give us the one minute video. After that, Dr. Tobia Chinue will give us the first priority. In the twinkling of an eye, heaven can do a miracle. When the Lord turned it against our captivity, it was as though we were dreaming. Hallelujah. Please celebrate our faith, celebrate our life, and the impact she has made, the legacies that she has left for us. Dr. Toby, for the my first Bible reading. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Our first Bible reading today shall be taken from the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4, from verse 13 to 18. I'm going to read it in my mom's favorite translation, the Amplified Master Translation. And it says, Now also we will not have you ignorant, brethren, about those who fall asleep in death. That you may not pray for them, as the rest do who have no hope beyond the grave. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will also bring with him through Jesus those who have fallen asleep in death. For this we declare to you by the Lord's own word, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall in no way proceed into his presence or have any advantage at all over those who have previously fallen asleep in him in death. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a loud cry of summons, with a shout of an archangel, no. and with a blast of the trumpet of God. And those who have departed this life in Christ will rise first. Then we, the living ones, who remain on earth, shall simultaneously be cut off along with the resurrected death, and the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so always, through the eternity of the eternity, we shall be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort and encourage one another with this word. With the Lord bless the reading of his word. This morning for this wonderful celebration, we would like to recognize Her Excellency First Lady of the United States, Mrs. Bamidele Abiyogun, who is right seated here. We thank you so much for joining us now. Deputy Governor of the United States, and Dina Maimak Salako, thank you so much now for joining us. Secretary to the United States Government, Topumbo Talabi, Mr. Topumbo Talabi, thank you so much for joining us. The State Head of Service, Mr. Kende Onasoya, thank you so much for joining us. In the morning, when the health comes with us, 
Dr. Ulutoi Taiwo, thank you so much for joining us. And the entire Living State Council members present here, we appreciate you for being here. We also want to recognize His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Akaibon State, Pastor Umo Eno, who is present here, and his wife, Pastor Mrs. We, pray, we appreciate your name. We thank you so much for joining us on uh, this wonderful celebration, Mrs. Mo Eno. And also, we want to appreciate the former governor of Akaibon State, His Excellency Udon Emmanuel, and his wife, Dr. Maka Udon Emmanuel. We thank you so much, and we also want to recognize the entire Akaibon State Executive Council members present here. We thank you for being here. Your presence matters so much to us.
preacher and speaker have various ministrations just from lives across the globe. Reverend Fola Achidume established the Save Her Foundation, an NGO whose major mission is to rescue, rehabilitate, repair, and liberate women and young girls who are being subjected to various forms of abuse which have made them settle for less. Just like a ghostsmith refines gold, RFA brought out the best in the lives of these women and young ladies. She also established the main Royal Institute, a mentoring school that allows both young and old people to be directly mentored in all facets of life under her supervision. Mumi Fola Achidume had some crucial impact in the lives of various women. It was said that she took some ladies from the street, sheltered them, put them into schools, and cared for them. That is not your life. If it is, it is my sex that you discovered the mystery about your life. I am not a mistake. There is something about my life. Here are some of the testimonies about her life. Because General Mugelant, who has affected many lives, had a strong pillar behind the ministry of our husband. There's no doubt that uh, the body of Christ in the United States, particularly, and in the mission, will solely be served. I've been very loving, very peaceful, quiet, and uh, very unassuming, and very spirit filled. I pray that God will grant her eternal rest and I pray that the Lord will comfort the family, the husband, the most especially because I know that they are very, very close. The Reverend Fola Achidume was a pillar in the body of Christ, an exemplary leader who inspired women to pursue their God-given potential. Her compassion was boundless, often putting aside her pains to heal others with words seasoned with grace. You will sit down with God to understand who you are, because many times there are two of us, the who you are that you are created to be, and the who you have made yourself to be. Reverend Fuller was more than just the wife of the general overseer. She was a respected leader in her own right. As a marriage and leadership coach, she provided invaluable counsel and support to many within and outside the church community. Her teachings and workshops of marriage and leadership were highly sought after, and she was known for her ability to connect with people and provide practical, faith-based solutions to their problems. She was the convener and president of the Royal Ladies International, a non-profit organization dedicated to empowering women via education, training, and empowerment programs. This she did to ensure they fulfilled destiny. She organized annual events to support women's empowerment by providing necessities like food, clothes, financial packages for businesses, etc. God will give you a honor that nobody in your environment has ever witnessed before. The news of her passing during the church's August joint service sent shockwaves through the July Bible Church International. Various solutions were displayed by pastors and members. Mommy Fuka Felix Adejuma and some notable men of God were around on that fateful day to console the Achidume family and the church. Despite the tears, Apostle Lawrence Achidume led the congregation in a moving song of thanksgiving a testament to the strength and faith that Reverend Fola Achidume exemplified in life and death. He said that he is proud of his wife, even in death. According to him, RFA died peacefully and her death 
was its curse by the devil. I can see, I can tell, and I know it's In one of the sermons, RFA spoke about using one's gifts for good while on earth and dying empty. Truly, she died empty, using her role to serve God and humanity. Take the first hymn this morning, hymn number eight. Onward, Christian soldiers. It's the first hymn you find at the center page of the booklet. Can we all stand?
In this house this morning we have great men and women that have come to honor the life of Reverend Fola Chidimen and also celebrate our legacies and stand and associate with our father, Apostle Lawrence Achidimen. Several of them have visited before, especially fathers of faith in the land and across the globe. And this morning we want to celebrate them that left their abode, some from the United States of America, some council engagements, some bought last minute tickets to fly into Nigeria, to fly into Abel Buta in order to celebrate this great Amazon. Our father, Bishop Felix Omogude, and Mama Abiola Omogude, the general superintendent of Gospel Light International Ministries, were among those that visited. Bishop Francis Wileke, the founder, the presiding bishop of Sword of the Spirit Ministry, and as well as the national president of Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, also came. Papa Ayo Agoris Adolfo put a call through to Apostle to condole him. Bishop Mike Okoko, the presiding bishop of the Redeemed Christian, the Redeemed Evangelical Mission, also put a call to Apostle. Evangelist Uma Upai, the founder and president of Uma Upai Evangelistic Ministry, and, the, and also Reverend. Samson Ayokule, the former president of the Christian Association of Nigeria. Other dignitaries that called or came all the way, Bishop Dr. Stephen Adibite, the current chairman of Lagos, and also the executive secretary of the Nigerian Christian Religious Commission. Prelate Isaiah Eason, the president general, and fathers of faith from Akwaibo, was among the dignitaries that flew all the way to pay the condolence visit. Bishop Abraham Chikundu, the presiding bishop of the Voice of Freedom, and as well as the president of ICIC, our mommy, Pastor Fulu Adeboye, also put a call to Apostle to pray for the family and to show solidarity and support and condole the family in this trying time. Apostle Zeli Adri, the South South Vice President of PFA, Archbishop John Praise, the Deputy National President of PFA, Reverend and Pastor Moses Abaton, were among those that came to pay their condolence visit. From the state, the very first citizen of the state, His Excellency Prince Dagoabelu, came personally and showed his uh, condolence and commiserated with Apostle Lawrence Akimene and the family. We appreciate Her Excellency Mrs. Bamdelia Dodo, who was among the first caller at the house of Apostle Achille to pay her condolence visit. His Excellency Pastor Owen of the Executive Governor of Apam Ibon State sent emissaries. His wife came personally, the Deputy Governor also came, and then he too came. Indeed, acquired on love, Apostle Lawrence Achille. Also, the former governor of Akwaibo, His Excellency, and his wife also came to even worship with us on a Sunday morning and to show their love and support for Victor Bible John as, and as well for Apostle Lawrence and Chudumen. We appreciate your sacrifice. Senator Dr. Akon Eyan Kenki. The Deputy Governor of Akwai State have mentioned that Right Honorable Luda Isirushek when named the speaker was personally at the house. Mr. Olato Kumbotalabi, the SSG to the government of the state was personally there, I think about twice. Mr. Ken Biron Osoya, the state head of service was also there twice. Right Honorable Titio Sini, former speaker, was there personally. We appreciate Barrister Taiwo and the former secretary to the Ogo State government who was calling almost every day. His Excellency Sharafa Tudi Shola, the former High Commissioner to the United Kingdom, 
also paid his condolence receipt. He's a personal friend of Apostle Achinime, Senator Ibupule Amosu, the former governor of the state, called almost every day. Senator Benga Daniel, former governor of the state, and also Senator representing Okuhi, Senator Dr. State, also was there and called several. Our Mama Chief Mrs. Bola of Basanjo sent uh, messages and surprisingly, the evangelist Ebenezer Obe came by himself to say, I must be here. <laughs> Our real fathers of the land, Oba Adido to Aremuka Debo Todd, Alaki of Ebala sent his greetings to Apostle, his commiseration, his condolence, and also his prayers to the family. Oba Adiba Ko Adewale Tedio Show sent also his condolence messages. Oba Dr. Saka Mate Milola Yolowo of Owu sent his condolence messages. Professor Babatu Nika in the Vice Chancellor of FUNAP, Professor Chine Dumpis, Babalola, the Vice Chancellor of Krishna, and so many, many, many great men and women of God that came. I want you to please help me appreciate everyone that came to the house before today, even up to yesterday evening. We thank you on behalf of their children and their additional family. We say thank you very much. Please make it bigger again. Permit me to recognize these men of God that have come from far and near, who had earlier visited or are here today, and they have traveled all the way from different places to Abel Buddha. Apostle Sam Tukura, we appreciate you, sir. Can you help me celebrate you? <laughs> Bishop and Mrs. Sumatua Ege, all the way from Asaba, you are celebrated. Bishop Jude Akele from Asaba is here. The ICIC led by Bishop Abraham Chibudu, you are welcome, sir. And all the ICIC members that are here. The ICMC also are here, led by Bishop Johnny Beno. Can you please celebrate yourself, ICMC? I come back from all the way, United States of America, to still Bishop Simeon and Golabori led a, a team here for the last minute ticket. You are welcome, sir. <laughs> Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, Aqua Ibon. Can you please celebrate them for me? <laughs> Under the leadership of Bishop Etty. The Christian Association of Nigeria, also from Aqua Ibon, led by Bishop Chris. Can you celebrate them? The Christian Association of Nigeria, Ogo State, led by Bishop Atikule, can you celebrate them for me? The Christian Association of, Le of Nigeria, Lagos Chapter, led by Bishop Atikule, please celebrate them for me. And then Dr. Ayo Hajim, all the way from the United States of America, came in here to celebrate the life of Reverend for our children. Dr. Emmanuel Ikotu from London is here. Just to come and celebrate RFA. Reverend Yemi Oyenubi from Portacot, we thank you so much. Dr. Ben Ahibi Jr., my senior brother, is here all the way from the city with his wife. And also we have Pastor Tim from London, you are welcome. The VMC, United Kingdom, and US are here. Can you wave your hands wherever you are? Where are you? We celebrate you, Pastor Mrs. Talabi, led the U.S. delegation of the Victory Bible Church. And then the PFN chairman of all your states, Reverend Adip, Adip to Mobi, you are welcome, sir. Reverend Badibo, Gula, no, you are welcome. Pastor Austin Bukachi, the National Advisory Council member of PFN, you are welcome, Daddy, thank you. Reverend Kadiri of the New Covenant Church will be representing our grandfather, Bishop Omobude. Please, Daddy will recognize you. And then we have Pastor Ben Gachita from the United Kingdom sent people here to commiserate with Apostle. So we thank everyone in the name of the families of Achudime and Adeshino and Victory Labrador Church. We appreciate everyone and that is here. We also must appreciate the press. The press, especially 
all the press in Abel Kuta, all the radio station, Ogun Radio, Paramount FM, Fresh FM, Ogun State Television, and as well as uh, Splash FM, all of them. And some of them, I think I know, Paramount FM and Fresh FM, that are covering these events live free of charge. Please celebrate them. Then I will also celebrate the traffic police at Obantu Kuabel Kuta who came to the house to celebrate with Apostle. We want you to know that his heart really wants to mention everybody's name. But permit us at this point, like Toby said yesterday, to get in. He sees that you are here. Please, one more time, put your hands together for yourself. I will invite the Bapiodu Occasional for the second Bapiodu. Good morning, church. I'm taking the Bible reading from Henry. First John, chapter 3, 1 to 3. First John, chapter 3, 1 to 3. See what great love the Father has released on us, lavish on us, that we should be called the children of God, and that is what we have. The reason the world does not know us is that he did not know him. Dear friend, now we are children of God, and what will be has not yet been made known. But, what, but we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Chapter 3 and verse 3. All who have this hope in him purify themselves as he is pure. The Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Reverend Fola Akidula, a firebrand woman of God, who ignites passion in others with unquenchable zeal, a dynamic woman of God. Reverend Fola Akidula had the burden to see women of all ages and backgrounds fulfill their purpose and occupy the rightful place in destiny. They led birth to various nations, giving birth to numerous missions and initiatives. Through preaching the word of God, counseling, and prayer, our faith has empowered numerous women to seek God's guidance in selecting a life partner, restore broken hopes of the marriage, and encourage those waiting on the Lord for a life partner to remain steadfast. And not persuaded by deceiving temptations. RFA was the president of Royal Ladies International Ministry, RLI, a non governmental organization committed to empowering women to reach their full potential. Through RLI, she organized impactful conferences, including the Annual Women's Summit and the Biannual Eminent Personality Conference which transformed the lives and ignited purpose in women on all walks of life. Her passion for social issues, particularly those affecting women, led her to found Safe Parent Foundation, which rescues, rehabilitates, restores, and releases victims of abuse. She was very passionate about young ladies and women in Venezuela. It's no surprise that she organized five editions of the Female Business Conference in less than two years. She also established German Royal Institutes, a mentoring school where individuals can directly mentor in various aspects. A prolific writer, RFA offered several books as a certified coach, speaker, and mental. Her life was a living embodiment of Isaiah 61, verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the men. Though she has passed on to glory, her spirit lives on in our hearts. Mama has fully called, we have raised soldiers for God. Guiding men 
men and women worldwide to victory in life. You have depopulated the kingdom of hell and fought the good fight of hell. These seeds you have sown will continue to flourish, and your life and ministry will forever echo through the generations. Till we meet again on the resurrection morning, rest in God's presence. Somebody shout a loud hallelujah. She was born into the kingdom. She came and she expanded the frontiers of the kingdom. And she had departed triumphantly. And the third verse on the hill, I don't know say it. See the glory of Bala women. Hear the trumpet blow. In our leader's name, we triumph over every throne. She triumphed. Ladies and gentlemen, let's rise and take the hymn number three. Oh, my God. <laughs>
Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Alright, the next on the item, we have few people here who want to give presentation. One, one minute, please, as I call your name, you quickly come forward. If you are not ready, we we'll move on. The R R L I. Please, if you are available and you are ready for the presentation, please come forward. Just you have, you have just one minute. Quickly. Please let me give them hands as we can. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are gathered here to celebrate. Like Mama was saying, we have to do what we have to do. And I'm not doing this alone. I would like to call some of my sisters, all our LA members that not come out. But few of our key officers, let me call on the Vice National Coordinator, the RLI UK Coordinator, and two of our key officers, the FMC Lagos Team Lead, RLI Lagos Coordinators, EPC Team Lead, FMC Abelkuta, I don't mean Federal Medical Center, I mean the Female Ministers Conference. The Abelkuta team lead, three of our key officers in RLI Abelkuta, the team lead for Seva team, uh, Seva team, that's the group that go to the Brotel. And I would like all members of Royal Ladies, wherever you are, you belong to the EPC, you belong to the, even the high flyers, you be belong to the Just Boys, Just Girls, please let's be on our feet. Hallelujah. Real ladies members, let's be on our feet wherever you are. Amen. Reverend Fola Achudume, a guiding light of hope and transformation. Reverend Fola Achudume, affectionately known as RFA, was the ray of sunshine that broke through the dark, darkest clouds for countless individuals, proving that one person can truly make a world of difference. And what a difference she made. Talking about making a difference, you know, at times when she'll be talking to us, she'll be saying, some of us knew me as Sister Folake, then I graduated to Mommy Toby. But this great woman is now the global RFA that we all are gathered here to celebrate. Hallelujah. As the saying goes, a little spark ignited a flame that will burn brightly for generations to come. A leader of many talents, Apart from being the president of Victory Women International, the Women Fellowship of VLBC, she noticed that most women were not aware of their purpose in life and were not living according to God's purpose for them. This gave birth to Royal Ladies International, which started with Royal Congress, but now has different hands. Mama Chudume cut across all ages and class. Talk about the church boys, and top girls for secondary school boys and girls. The eye flyers, these are the teenagers. The Saver Foundation for the Abused Girls and Women. The EPC, Eminent Personality Conference for the women like Lydia in the Bible, who occupy different leadership positions in different spheres of life. Women in positions of authority in both government and private sectors. And of course, most of them are elderly because she will always tell them, let's prepare for our ninth season. The FMC, Female Ministers Conference for Pastors, Wives and Female Pastors, where, men where mentorship and guidance touched female ministers. The All Women Summit is where all the above ages and classes of women gather once in a year. We had one in July during the year when she empowered women from all walks of life, inspiring them to reach their potential. And this year, you know, Mama called me and said, how many bags of rice have you gotten? I told her, and she said, no, get more. That is Mama Chudume for you. Apart from the physical contacts, millions of people listen and watch her on the program, The Royal Lady, on radio and television. With a heart full of compassion, RFA offered said counsel to their listening ear to those in need of guidance. 
She was a tireless advocate for women's inherent value and potential, emphasizing their roles and managers of resources and custodians of value. Mama was a fierce defender of justice, standing unwaveringly with victims of rape and abuse. She provided a safe space for their stories to be heard and a source of comfort in their daily journeys. Her love and care extended to the marginalized, those abandoned, abused, less privileged, widows, and special needs children. We do this with God during the Christmas, we visit the uh, children with special needs. Transforming their lives through education, empowerment, and unconditional love. Our hearts also reach out to those society often, look, often overlooked, the girls in the brothels. You know at times when we go to the brothel, you will not know that mama was our leader. You will not know. She will just be amazed us. And when we finish talking and talking, we will now introduce her. And those people will be amazed that so she is really the leader of the team. Hallelujah. Through a non-profit foundation, she became a catalyst for their transformation, equipping them with the skills and resources to build their lives. Reverend Fola Chudumel left an indelible mark on the world. Her legacy is a testament to the power of selfless love, compassion, and service. May our memory continue to inspire us all to spread love, hope, and kindness, illuminating the lives of others just as she did. I would like to hand over the microphone to one of my sisters here, which Pastor Christine, he came to. Praise the Lord, everyone. I am just very quickly on behalf of Royal Ladies International. Uh, the only way we can give back is to start a foundation in memory of RFP. So it will be called RFP Foundation to reach out and give scholarship to the government uh, and also to support which is the passion she has but the foundation is called RFA Foundation God bless you thank you very much let's put our hands together to celebrate them please let's do it well let's do it well see the reason why we are not money our own model because we are celebrating a powerful life graceful life. She is indeed an Amazon. And you can agree with me that she poured out her life to serve, to be a blessing to us and generations yet to come. And next, please, quickly when you come, you have just one minute, look at, take your time and quickly do what you do. I need to call the NCCF Wife Heritage to stand by. Give your family to also follow. And the youth, please prepare yourself in that order. You have just one more minute. So NCCF, quickly, if you are willing. Katuna, please let's give them your hand, please. Praise the Lord. For some of us, this is where it all began. Katuna. State 1997 of the Nigerian Christian Coppers Fellowship. But our dear beloved brother and apostle and our dear sister who was celebrating, she was our sister general secretary of that fellowship. I have a note. Our president is in Solomon Island. And I want to say it was something unexpected, but must be admitted. An experience which we were not prepared for at this time. The peak hour of her life, when she smoothly needed for optimum impact on the world population. The thanks be to God, who has not left us without hope of glory. Olua Falakemi, you will be ever missed on this part of eternity, your resilience, passion for the Lord, desire to touch life for Jesus, and indeed how you actually conquered death before this happened. We have this confidence based on the word of the Lord, 
that we are not soaring over him because of because on the resurrection morning we shall meet the bad number. On behalf of the NCCF Nigerian Christian Corpus Fellowship 1990-1991 State of Kaduna State, we bid you good night on the resurrection morning. The Lord will the Lord will spiritually and otherwise sustain our beloved brother, Apostle Lawrence Nachirube, their children, by additional, and the family, VLBC family, and us all who we have left behind in Jesus' mighty name. Our God Almighty remains sovereign and perfect in all his works. He promised never to leave us alone, for he has said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do to me. We will, we will all finish well and strong in Jesus' name.